What's the most baddest thing you've accidentally said in the heat of the moment? Big burly former marine slash mercenary from Iraq was backstage side. Huge fucking mountain of man. We came to face each other in one of the narrow corridors of the office where one of us was gonna have to turn sideways. Neither of us turned. But we stopped. I'm 6 feet 1, 260, and he still towered over me. He was a nice guy. But still a little. Conditioned I guess you could say or mentally unhinged. He looked me dead in the eye and said, You feeling froggy? It truly was like something out of a movie. Without blinking I replied, You better jump. We both cracked up and turned sideways. While the office breathed a collective sigh of relief. I'm a 4th grade teacher, and one day I was up at the board, and struggling to remember how to spell a particular word. I was trying to make light of it. Telling the kids that sometimes adults need help with spelling too. One student replied. It is because you were poorly educated. But don't worry. We are poorly educated too. Double whammy. What's worse is I think, that kid was trying to make you feel better. Oh yeah. He was. When I bust out laughing he tried to walk it back. It became an inside joke among all the kids the rest of the year. At work project management and the cut and mismanaged the project so badly. They pushed getting minimum viable product out with the goal to roll out improvements later. Product released. They all patted themselves on the back and moved on. Then that minimum viable product broke. In a meeting we had with our directors about how it's so broken, and the cost to fix it etc, no cost too big. Unlimited manpower etc, I asked how, come we couldn't afford to do it right. But we can afford to do it twice? They pushed getting minimum viable product out with the goal to roll out improvements later. Do you work for Bethesda? I wish. Unfortunately I don't think my story is that uncommon in any tech companies. I'll never forget the moment a family walked into the local pub I was working at, while I was working. This big king of the grill bald alpha patriarch dad type and his wife and kids came through. I said welcome. Where would you like to sit? And he snapped back well a table would be nice. And without missing a beat at all I replied actually we usually sit on the chairs here. I'll never forget the satisfaction of that moment or the look on his face haha. You are the alpha dad now was wondering why I walked out at the end of the day with his wife and kids. My uncles were bitching about my dad, so I walked into the conversation, and told them it wasn't polite to talk about people behind their backs. My uncle turned to me, and said I shouldn't interrupt, when the men are speaking, and completely out of character I replied I don't see any men in here. Boy did I get some shit, that day but that's how I knew I won that exchange. I worked in cell phone sales for a few years and a woman came in with a fairly new flip phone. This was 2018 we just still sold them. She was complaining cause one of the sides of the screen was dangling off and said she didn't do anything it just snapped and demanded a new phone. I told her that looks like physical damage and we don't have any coverage for that since you didn't buy a phone protection warranty. She insisted it wasn't physical damage and the phone just sucks and broke itself. She started freaking out, and calling me all kinds of names, and swinging her phone in my face, and then the top half of the phone literally snapped off, and landed on the counter in front of me. I just looked her in the eyes and said, well that was definitely physical damage. She lost her shit at my comment, and it was weirdly satisfying. Working retailer Karen once told me she hoped I die. I was so into work mode that I blankly responded, I mean, we all die. That's not much of a threat. Maybe it was my lack of intimidation or blank stare. But that really shut her up. Maybe you reminded her of her own mortality. Sometimes it can make you stop and wonder if what you are doing is really worth it. I didn't realize the nature of my comment when I wrote it. But in high school, one of my teachers did end of the year anonymous evaluations. Everyone hated him. And I understood why, but I still did well in his class. I wrote I don't have any critiques about your teaching, but I think you should work on being a better person. Dude, how old were you? That line would have definitely destroyed me if I had been your teacher. Forensic biology professor brings out a fresh human brain as a surprise to a stunned class. You have no idea what I had to go through to get this. The skull. When I was 12 my older sister had a boy over for Thanksgiving dinner. She dated lots of douches. But this guy took the cake. Big. Brash. Annoying d-head who was rude to her and basically everyone. 
as we sat down for dinner. Before we were about to say what we were thankful for he says inaudible more and grunts her looks like I'm seated at the head of the table. Must be important with a huge shit eating grin. Without pausing I gesture to my dad seated opposite him and said actually my dad is at the head of the table. You're the asshole. My mom scolded me for swearing at the table but years later told me her and my dad thought it was hilarious. After 4 years in an abusive relationship and 1 year of an abusive marriage. I told my ex that I wanted a divorce. He told he that I couldn't divorce him or I'd go to hell. My response was well I guess I'll see you there. I then kicked him out of my house for which he had never paid a dime in bills and told him to call his mom for a plane ticket. Not the most badass story here. But it felt good. Congrats on getting out. Thank you. It's been 2 years and I'm in a much better place. I was around 17 or 18 and getting my first filling at the dentist. They pumped me up with nitrous oxide for pain and to help me relax during the procedure. Dentist came back and asked me, how are you feeling? All I said was I don't and he lost his shit and cracked up for what seemed like 20 minutes before he could pull himself together. I also started cracking up because of the laughing gas and his laugh was infectious. So we were both just sitting the in the room laughing and all his assistants came by and were very confused lol. Not me. My daughter. This boy at school called her retarded. Her response? No. I'm autistic. I don't know what your fucking excuse is. She was in 6th grade. I was pretty shocked when I got that phone call. She usually doesn't say things to people. Then. Of course. You asked what happened to the other boy. I absolutely did. They said that he would be punished appropriately. They wouldn't tell me anything else. They probably gave him an Aurea. But no milk. Monsters. I worked at Target back in college in a stocking job where we had to be there at like 4 to 5 am to unload trucks. One morning I overslept a bit and walked to the unpacking line about 10 minutes late eating a breakfast bar. The boss stormed over and started loudly berating me in front of everyone for being late. As he was going on. I was listening and taking bites of the bar without much expression, mainly because I was so damn tired. It finally bothered him that I was disrespectfully chewing during the yelling and he stopped mid-sentence, held out his hand, and said, give me that damn thing. It just happened that I only had one bite left, so I took it, handed him the wrapper, and said thanks with a mouth full of food. He paused and started laughing at the ridiculous response to his thing. We were buddies after that. This one made me laugh so hard when I played it in my head. Whenever I read stories like these it always plays out in my head. It's like reading is watching TV for my brain. Young male. Traveling with a bunch of other males. Border patrol. We were being searched for drug smuggling border patrol agent. You know I have the authority to cavity search you, me, somehow without skipping a beat. Sure you might. But neither of us would enjoy it, and you wouldn't find anything off the hook. No fingers in my butt. A couple months ago, my, now ex, friend was telling me all the things that were wrong with me, and she finished it with, and at least I don't have to wear macube to look pretty. I was so fed up with her shit. So I responded, at least I'm capable of looking pretty. She was speechless, and I felt like such a badass, because this was the first time I ever stood up to her. I was accused of being passive aggressive. I replied which part sounded passive? I don't ever want to come across as passive. Apostrophe. Ah uh, my take on this is I'm aggressive aggressive. At work at a company meeting. Someone was presenting something cool they volunteered to work on and finished. They then explained things they thought they could do better in a self deprecating way. And a bunch of other people started railing into his work with petty criticism. It was definitely good work. Though. And a thought just hit me, so I blurted it out. Sometimes done is the best feature a bunch of people laughed, and then the criticism stopped. People gave him kudos and we moved on. Not really badass. But I was surprised this thought somehow came out fully formed. Like it was some phrase I've been saying for decades. I guess I was just realizing how many people don't finish anything they start. So done suddenly seemed like a pretty damn good feature. Give the man some credit for finishing the damn thing. This is actually really inspirational. I'm a perfectionist and often hate stuff I work on so much I abandon it. I'm going to try and internalize this message. 
Back in high school I was a slow fat kid. For pear weed. Jog about a kilometers to the beach. Have a swimming lesson then jog back. I was the last one back to the school grounds and the teacher was standing at the gate. He told me that cause I was too slow he was going to lock the gate and I'd have to jog to the next one 200 meters away. I said that I'd consider him locking me out of school grounds to be a suspension and just go home. He let me in straight away. Kinda wished he'd tried calling my bluff so I could have followed through and just gone home. I was in an acting class in college and we were doing a scene where a couple was having a big drawn out fight. Multiple pairs went through the scene and I studied it pretty hard so I knew all the lines. We are about halfway through our performance when my partner clearly forgets what her line is and because everyone was doing that scene they could tell she had forgotten as well. Her next line was supposed to be well. I'm sorry I asked, I'm not usually a quick thinker on my feet. But I just filled the second or two of awkward silence with I bet you're sorry you asked. Huh. And continued on with my lines. Not overly bad as per se, but the class and professor loved it and all laughed. Probably the only quick witted thing I've ever done in my life. I already posted here, but I just thought of another story. There was this one extremely attractive girl in my COMM 101 class in college. One day, for a project where we interviewed other students, I was partnered with her. We ended up not finishing our questions in class. So I asked her if I could meet her somewhere to finish interviewing her. She said yes. Fast forward to the next day. I meet her after her dance group finishes rehearsal. I knock through the last few questions. And the final one which I ask is what do you perceive the future to hold? She replies I don't even know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I have no idea what the future holds. So I say well, if you don't know what you're having for dinner, do you want to have dinner with me? She laughed. Said yes. And though we only hooked up that night, I still look back on that day as one of the best dating stories I've had yet. Finally one that doesn't end with we've now been married for 15 years. Everyone on Reddit seems to meet their spouse in the most memorable way. Mine was literally hey do you need me to move my car? No you're good. It's because not a lot of people are going to share the story about how they met their so in a really mundane way. Only the interesting stories tend to get shared. Listen. I was dramatically swiping my thumb to the right when I met her. How dare you imply that's mundane. Slash s. I worked at a bookstore and a customer asked me how often do the periodicals come out. I deadpanned periodically, and he asked to speak to my manager. Worth it. I used to work in a bookstore. Smarter answers to dumb questions were the best. Customer, where is your non-fiction section? Me, what topic are you looking for? We have lots of non-fiction. Customer, just your regular non-fiction. Me, biographies, history, computers, gardening. Customer, just regular non-fiction. Me, see that sign over there that says fiction. The entire rest of the store, I had amazing job security. Ever seen the TV series Black Books? Sounds like you might like it. I think it's on Netflix. Kind of a proud moment for me. I was always really shy in school. Had very few friends. Was bullied a lot. My mum passed away when I was 14 and I kept it to myself. Not wanting sympathy or more bullying for it. Someone found out. Not sure how. They then said in one of our mutual classes that I should just die like my stupid mum did. The whole class heard and was shocked. Even the teacher was like a deer in headlights. I immediately got up to leave, but before I left, I turned to her, got up close, and said I've seen what cancer does to people. It hurts. And I would never wish that on anyone. Not even you. And I turned and walked out. A lot of people have me some respect for the fact that I stood up to myself. Although people then knew my mum had died, which wasn't great. I ended up leaving the school a few months later anyways, but I was glad that I stood up for myself. I'm late to the party, but oh well. I work in waste management. I'm also a rather small person, like, they don't make clothes at Old Navy in my size small. I was wheeling a stack of drums out to our loading dock, navigating pretty much purely on instinct, since I couldn't see over or around them. Lo and behold, there's someone there chatting with the shipping people. I run straight into him. I'm surrounded by everyone in shipping. Some fairly big dudes. And I feel amazingly embarrassed. 
I leaned around the drums to look at the guy I hit, and without even thinking, said, the F you want me to do, see through back quote M, everyone burst out laughing, and the guy even opened the door to the dock for me, every time I see him now he pretends to duck, you've earned the respect of your co-workers for life. Me and my girlfriend at the time were having a discussion about her going back to school. She kept putting it off every semester, and one day she got angry at me trying to get her to actually go back, not just talk about it, and she yelled Rome wasn't built in a day. And I responded, yeah, but it was built, and a decade later I still think of that. Edit, she did end up going back to school, got her masters even. She's married now with twins, just a real asshole. Haha <laughs> so awesome, and so close to the full quote Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. At a party a few years back, someone stole my friend's purse. Her boyfriend found the guys who took it, and got it back for her, but he was still in an angry, drunken rage and was continuing to escalate the situation, when he was well outnumbered. My friend finds me and says, I'm afraid, boyfriend, is about to get into a fight. I need your help. Stop him please. I stand up, and I tell her, I can't promise you I can stop him from fighting, but I can promise you I won't let him lose, before walking off to find him. Ultimately, no fight actually broke out, and I didn't realize that I had basically said a cheesy one-liner until after the fact, when my friend told me how intense that line was. I didn't mean for it to sound so dramatic. I just wanted to let her know I wouldn't let him get his a kicked. I didn't mean to make it sound like I was about to demolish three guys by myself, like I'm some sort of action hero. I just imagined you taking off your sunglasses after saying that line and dramatic music starting, or more like wearing the sunglasses after saying such a dramatic line and walking away without looking back. Open bracket underscore close bracket. I DK about badass, but I years ago I worked at a hard rock cafe. And we often had pre-shift server meetings outdoors on a patio. And my wild boss was droning on about us selling more overpriced plastic cups. I was staring off at the spinning globe on top of the building that says save the planet on it. I interrupted my boss by blurting out, if Hard Rock is trying to save the planet, why do we waste so much paper? Which was really directed at my managers, who had a hard on for printing out stupid memos. They somehow didn't realize it was about them specifically, and passed the comment up the food chain, which ended up resulting in the entire company changing their payroll system to paperless. Globally, as a reward I was given a pin shaped like a light bulb that said bright idea on it. Thanks I guess. Save the company millions of dollars. Get a fucking badge. F corporate culture. Edit, I wonder how much money the guys in corporate got in bonuses when they put your idea into place. Yeah, and they're a pretty shit company to work for. If you take all the annoying boss shit from every scene in office space, that's how they roll. One day I was chastised about wearing the bare minimum amount of pins and told by four different managers that I filled out a form improperly. Go wait with mommy daddy might be going back to jail again. Guy pushed my 5 year old daughter at the fish store and she started crying. When he heard me say that he ran out of the store, I've never been to jail before. Who would push a 5 year old girl? Do you also look intimidating? That line would never work coming from me. I look like the treasurer of a Mumford and Sons fan club. If you can't look intimidating, look crazy. Crazy is better than intimidating. Some people may think they can take the intimidating guy. But absolutely no one wants to get close to an absolute loony. We had a overly dramatic neighbor who always claimed she was sick and dying. My mom came to see my kids in the middle of battling stage 4 lung cancer. The neighbor pulled her. Hi Rita. So glad to see you. Did Jason tell you that I'm dying? My mom looked right at her. Smiled and said me too. Dear. But not today. Never more proud of her. My cousin had cancer. He's doing okay now. But someone outside a shop was raising money and said kids with cancer? My auntie replied no thanks. I've already got one. It went down in family history. Reminds me of this one post I saw. Person, would you like to donate to autism awareness? Op, no thanks. I'm aware that I exist. This one had a little setup. But I think it's funny enough to share. At a family vacation. 
My grandmother was giving me grief for not remembering her birthday. I've never been good with birthdays. After telling me it was the password to her iPhone, she wanted me to take a picture with it, which is why I needed the password. While she was distracted, I opened up the settings, changed her password to my birth date, and then set her phone down. Q 15 minutes later. She's trying to get into her phone and it's not working. Suspecting mischief. She grumpily asks me if I've changed the password to her phone in front of our entire family. I admit that I did. Well what is it? She asked impatiently. It's my birth date. She sat there in stunned silence for about 15 seconds not being able to remember my birthday before our family exploded laughing. Was a good time. Biggest you know reverse car devil mayo. Draw 4 or admit you fucked up haha. Proceed to draw 40, because I know myself, and I probably deserve it. A friend of mine was giving me shit, while we were all bowling. Off the cuff I yelled at him. You're adopted. Your parents don't even like you. He laughed. Because, you now. Friends. Like 3 hours later it hit me, and I turned around and said. Holy shit xx. You are adopted. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry dude, which he thought, made the whole situation even funnier. Shit, I've made an exact mistake like this. Except it was more of an insult war and we weren't quite friends. It's such an easy thing to come back to though. Oh yeah. My parents picked me. Yours got stuck with your useless ass or other derogatory insult as you prefer. I was eating McDonald's with a few friends and I started choking. The only thing I managed to say in the whole ordeal was I'm McChokin. Fucking gold how'd he die, I dunno. He choked to death, while his friends pissed themselves laughing so damn hard. He was McMurdered. And the McFuneral was held at McDonald land with Pastor Ronald and all the McNald gang. Or McCremation and stored in Happy Jar. A long time ago I was walking down a side street in a medium, sized town with my girlfriend. A car was parked ahead, with the front of the car facing us as we approached. I could see two kids. Maybe in their late teens and instantly could tell they were likely going say something as my gf was rather attractive. As soon as we come up next to them, I hear hey baby, ditch the zero, and come hang with the hero. I could feel my blood boil, but I kept my cool, and calmly said sorry buddy, I'm not gay, and don't call my girlfriend a zero. The dude's friend started laughing at him, and my girlfriend made a sarcastic crying face then we both started to laugh. Hey baby. Ditch zero and come hang with a hero. Has to be the most 80s or 90s cat call possible. Hey baby let's go grab a Pepsi free and watch back to the future at my place. I rented it from Blockbuster.